Almost one year has passed since Bank of Korea Governor Lee Ji Yeol took his post last April. He started out strong, uh, receiving strong and favorable evaluation from the market and political parties. But over the course of his first year, those early good impressions seem to have faded. Our Shin Se-min reports. Bank of Korea Governor Lee Ji Yeol has received some criticism that he could do more to foster communication between financial bodies and the public, and that he has lost the public's trust. That's the exact opposite of what Lee promised to do last year when he took office. A total of three rate cuts also affected this assessment. Lee changed his fiscal policy course from maintaining to slashing the interest rate from 2.5 last August to two and a quarter percent. Last month, rate cut to 1.75 came as a surprise, shocking many market watchers. The Bank of Korea should be giving the market the right signal on changes to the key rate and create a kind of momentum for them. But that was not the case for the past year. Snowballing household debt is fueling more dissatisfaction with the BOK governor, as well as the country's continuing feeble economic growth. Despite three cuts to the key rate since Lee took over, fears of rapid deflation still linger, with this month's Consumer Sentiment Index and the Business Sentiment Index both lower than last March, which was right before he took office. Korea's economic growth rate also fell from 1.1 percent in the first quarter of last year to 0.3 percent in the fourth quarter, staying in the zero percent range. Some pundits point out, however, that the country's discouraging figures cannot be blamed solely on the governor. The sluggish pace of recovery, despite the rate cuts, points to other factors that result in slow growth. External factors such as slow global economic recovery, on top of tumbling oil prices, have also played a role in the economic slump. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.